Uh, uh, thank you very much to uh, Brooklyn's Institution for hosting us. It's a good. Uh, it's always a good day when I'm uh, on the same stage as my good friends, uh, Dr. Michael and Ambassador Sretzi. And thank you all of you for uh, for coming out and showing so much interest uh, in the African Union at 50. The government of the United States uh, is particularly thrilled to uh, to be a partner of Africa and a partner of the African Union, and to be part of the celebrations for this historic uh, milestone. Uh, as many of you know, uh, the uh, uh, African Union will be hosting uh, its uh, summit in Addis Ababa next weekend, uh, in which, uh, in addition to the normal business of, uh, uh, of a summit, there will also be uh, a number of events to, uh, to highlight the 50th anniversary of the OAU. Uh, we are very pleased that the United States will be represented by Secretary of State John Kerry, uh, who will uh, be there. It will be the first time that a U.S. Secretary of State has attended uh, an AU summit, and we should also say that it's consistent with our long partnership with the AU. The United States is also very, very proud uh, to be the first non-African country to have uh, an ambassador accredited solely to the African Union, as opposed to splitting his, his or her duties with, between uh, the African Union and the bilateral relationship with Ethiopia. So uh, we are thrilled uh, uh, with this historic milestone. Uh, we think that it's important to note the tremendous progress uh, that has been made in Africa over the last 50 years. Uh, uh, when the founding fathers of, uh, of, the Af of the OAU, uh, Nkrumah, Nyerere, uh, Hadi Selassie, uh, Joma Kenyatta, and others, uh, created the organization with a vision uh, for uh, promoting and further strengthening uh, unity in the continent. Uh, I'm sure that uh, they would be pleased to see just how far the continent has come, not the least of which uh, I would hope that the Founding Fathers would be pleased that the organization, the successful organization that they created, is now led by a leading mother, uh, Dr. Lamini Zuma uh, from South Africa. We uh, have uh, watched with great interest uh, as uh, the AU in particular has served as an increasingly important mechanism for developing consensus on the continent on a wide variety of issues. Uh, both in terms of political governance uh, and strengthening norms for democracy and good governance on the continent, uh, castigating, uh, suspending even those countries uh, that have, uh, where there have been unconstitutional seizures of power or transfers of power, uh, uh, such as Mali last year that was subsequently reinstated in Madagascar, et cetera. Um, and also the extent to which the African Union is increasingly taking charge for, uh, uh, for uh, uh, not only Africa's uh, responsibility for its own security, but indeed in so doing for Africa's destiny. Uh, African solutions for African problems, which is the general approach of the United States, uh, supports uh, vigorously. Uh, perhaps the, uh, one of the most important examples of that is the fact that the African Union, for the first time in its history, actually assessed financially its own members to help pay for a FISMA, uh, the African-led uh, 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 integrated uh, mission in, uh, in Mali, uh, which uh, is not only being supported by other countries, but indeed, as I mentioned, uh, uh, is being supported by the African uh, Union itself. When Dr. Lamini Zuma uh, visited uh, the United States this past November for a high-level uh, uh, strategic dialogue with uh, then-former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, uh, the two leaders uh, had a, a private meeting uh, in Secretary Clinton's office in which I, I was one of the few people there and Secretary Clinton said to uh, Dr. Zuma that, uh, uh, Madam Chairperson, I just want you to know that before I end my time as Secretary, the United States will commit to signing a strategic memorandum of understanding between the United States and the African Union, elevating our partnership to one of our strategic partnership. And we will get that done before I leave office. Right, Ruben? Yes, ma'am. Right. Roger that. And, uh, and we made it happen. And it was literally one of the last acts of office that uh, Secretary Clinton uh, performed on February 1st, uh, signing this memorandum of understanding elevating uh, the partnership between the United States and the African Union to one of a strategic partnership, which means, in effect, uh, that in addition to holding senior, uh, regular, high-level meetings between uh, our leadership and the leadership of the continent, 
uh, that there will also be uh, technical working groups that will be meeting on a regular basis to, uh, to deepen and strengthen our partnership on issues of mutual understanding. Uh, those four technical working groups mirror the four pillars of cooperation that were articulated in President Obama's Presidential Policy Directive for Africa that was signed on June 14th of last year. Those four pillars, in order, are one, support for democracy and democratic governance, two, support for private sector-led economic growth, trade, and investment, three, conflict, support for conflict prevention, mediation, resolution, and stabilization, and fourth, development and human opportunity. Uh, those four areas um, uh, were sort of jointly agreed um, as, as, as priority areas in which uh, we felt that we could work together on, for not only for our mutual interest, but for our mutual prosperity. And we expect to see uh, more concrete proposals coming out of those working groups uh, after the first of them meet uh, this summer in June. But let me also just say briefly uh, for a, a, a yielding floor uh, that uh, the United States uh, has been committed to the future of Africa. We are bullish on Africa for a variety of reasons, uh, both for the uh, profound economic growth that is happening. As you all know, seven of the ten fastest growing economies in the world are in Africa. Half the continent's population is under the age of 30. It is a very dynamic place. Uh, but it's also a place that, as we all know, still has challenges. Uh, some of those are security related, some of those are governance related, some of them are economic related. Uh, but we believe uh, that with uh, pockets of, uh, of excellence around the, around the continent that are increasingly um, uh, growing, uh, we are pleased to see African countries uh, sharing their experiences with each other on how to provide for their own security and prosperity, holding each other accountable. And we continue to look uh, forward to, to ways in which the United States can be partners with Africa and the African Union in particular at this next historic phase of Africa's development. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just before I go to